My name is Malin Andersson. I'm heading up the Wound Care Research and Development Department at Mönlicke. Pressure injuries are not only painful, but they affect the independence and quality of life of the patients as well. With an estimated 58 million pressure injuries globally, severe cases can result in the death of many hundreds of thousands of people every single year. That's why we are so focused on this issue at Mönlicke and why we're driving global knowledge and collaborations by bringing together the real experts. The development in our understanding of the causes of pressure injuries really made me consider these were not isolated or one-time events. Additionally, the patients didn't always play by the rules. The traditional methods for prevention didn't always protect them as they moved around the hospital or between procedures. It was at that point that I realized we needed a way to mitigate pressure and shear at the muscle bone interface that traveled with the patient, regardless of the circumstances. And that is how the idea for prophylactic dressing use was born. We could see Dr. Brindle's observations were really interesting. So we connected with Nick Santa Maria, Professor of Nursing Research, Skin Integrity and Wound Care at the Royal Melbourne Hospital and University of Melbourne to conduct an in-depth scientific study of the subject. So in 2010, we had a significant problem with pressure injuries at the Royal Melbourne Hospital's intensive care unit. Based on the work of Todd Brindle and with Milnica's support, we conducted the first randomised control trial of the use of their silicon dressings in 440 critically ill patients in our ICU. Our results demonstrated an 80% reduction in hospital acquired pressure injuries in critically ill patients when we use silicon dressings. These dressings are now a core component of our policy to prevent hospital-acquired pressure injuries at our hospital. Since those first studies, we have helped to drive multiple collaborations around the world with scientific advisory boards running studies that prove you can reduce the number of pressure injuries by between 70 and 85% in patients when you act in a preventative way. At Mönlicke, we believe this demonstrates the power of expert collaboration.